Yo, what's up? We are now outside my home and behind me here I have Tesla Model 3, the 2021 model. And in this video, I'm going to Yale with it. So um, I've charged the car to 90% and uh, preheated the car about an hour ago. I just, I just preheated it when I wake up. Uh -huh. When I wake up, just started preheating and I've been eating and uploading videos. Oh, it's 10 now, maybe I should leave soon. So you see, the plan is to drive 227 kilometers to Yalo, and that will take me about three hours. Uh -huh, the car estimates 30, 34%, so, and I have 90%, so right, that's going to be interesting. And if you look here, it's got my Tesla. We have 89.8%. The battery has been preheating to 21 degrees Celsius, or 21.8, uh, so I think we are good to go. We are now at Ghoul, yes. So, uh, let me show you guys the surrounding here. First, it's nice and sunny over here. Mm, nice. It seems like the ski place is also open. Huh. Nice weather today at Yellow. So, uh, here we have a, a faucet car idling. There's no one inside. I'm not sure if the guy was able to lock the car or, car or not, but uh, yeah, if you want a free car, you can just grab it. Now let's go inside and check it out. Uh, when we came here, I had 35% and we were, let me check, yeah, we have 35% when we came here and it was taking uh, uh, 85 kilowatts. But right now, after charging for a little while, we are down to 74 kilowatts. So you can say that it's slightly cold gates, but it's actually not that bad considering the temperature in the pack. And it's now, okay, I'm gonna show now. It's actively heating up the battery also. So uh, I have to go to the restroom. This, this trip took, uh, well, you can see it here. It took three hours. That's uh, on par with what I usually get. So now restroom break, maybe get a little bit of food and then we should be ready. All right, I think we're almost good to go. So by the way, the consumption here is not 160 because uh, this car has 2% error. The distance here is 228 kilometers. So we've seen this before, 2% error, it over reports. So it's 163 watt hour per kilometer. But uh, hmm, yeah, let's, let's stop at 60% exactly. We, we have enough, um, but I just want to charge to a round number. We will probably arrive at 20%. <laughs> you see, this car might not charge that fast, but it's it's super efficient like a ninja so you see here now the stats so far 59.7 percent okay the battery is at 33 degrees almost there okay yeah let's let's unplug now let me let me check something stop charging how many minutes did we, oh how many minutes did it charge which we, we charged 17 minutes yeah plenty let's go back to oslo We have just passed uh, Gol now, and well, it's called Svenkerud over here, yeah. And uh, you know, you guys know the terrain, right? It goes mostly downhill. Uh, well, actually, the, the biggest downhill was uh, right after Yellow. So, look at this consumption now because of the downhills. 
<laughs> 92 watt hour per kilometer. Yes, in the legacy automaker world, it means 9.2 kilowatt hour per 100 kilometers. That is remarkably low considering that it is winter outside and we have wet roads. Wow, wow, very impressive. 92. <laughs> Ionic, go home. <laughs> Uh, okay, so but from here the terrain kind of flattens out a little bit. We have also some traffic. I have to try to hammer. I've, I've been hammering a lot actually. There's just so many slow pokes on the road. So um, yeah, I will also get past these guys soon. But um, yeah, so I guess we just have to crank up the music and start hammering. And I'm back at Furusat Circle K and uh, you know I use these chargers a lot and I notice that this one has been kaput for a while but all the other ones are available see we have plenty of chargers here and I notice that they recently changed um, the screen you see here we have typical screen is it touching yeah tiny screen with not much information but I saw they had a new screen, big screen. I was thinking, oh, maybe I can see kilowatt and uh, kilowatt hour delivered and number of amps and volts. No, no. <laughs> In the true ABB style, we just use one fourth of the screen to display the exact same information we had before. <laughs> what the heck? ABB, come on, you guys need to up the game here. Chem power kicking ass for the Lord. Yeah, and even tritium is better. So we need more information on this. But okay. Anyway, the car is dirty. Let's uh, go inside and I have recorded all the stats. All right, so um, you see, this time we started with 60% and we ended up with, uh, well, we run it up to 15%. So that means we spend 45%. And uh, the consumption reported by the screen was 131, but uh, we have to correct for 2% error. So it becomes 134. That is actually pretty good. Uh, actually, the second best, consumption-wise, the second best, uh, the most efficient car is still Ionic because, well, Ionic is 300 kilos lighter, so that helps in this regard. And then when we plugged in, we received 132 kilowatt. So no Colgate here, at least. Uh, it seems to slightly Colgate now when we start getting higher power, uh, higher state of charge. But of course, um, this is the name of the game. Even when you drive slow, you can't build up enough heat. And also, I didn't navigate to supercharger this time, but it was still getting okay speed in the beginning. So now, right now at 35%, we're getting 98 kilowatt. Okay, that's good. Uh, so actually, Okay, this car, this Model 3 was uh, using slightly more energy than MC Hammer, my Tesla Model 3 performance, but that was in summer with nice weather, higher temperature. So it is actually very impressive that this car can uh, keep keep up with the, uh, well, how do you put this? Uh, it's, it's 
almost as good as uh, the old one without heat pump in summer something like that yeah or the other way around if you're considering uh, getting one of the new, new model 3s if you're considering replacing your old model 3 with a new one you can almost get summer consumption with a new one yeah <laughs> uh, so yeah that's pretty cool yeah um, I think that's gonna be it for now then I hope you guys enjoy this video as always thank you for watching and talk to you later